Hi everyone, if you're watching this, then I guess that means I have announced that I am running the London Marathon at the end of April, which is equal parts terrifying to excited, but I think I'm more terrified um, at the moment. And this is actually my second week of training. My first week didn't really go to plan as um, over Christmas I had a really, really bad chesty cough. So I managed one run on my first week, which is not the best considering my training plan has four days of running in, but I just didn't wanna push myself. And because I had such a bad chesty cough I just couldn't breathe my chest was really tight and it just it was obvious that I wasn't ready to get back into my running shoes just yet because I've had this cold over Christmas I actually haven't run for about three weeks which is not good as well and also I was so motivated um and was really enjoying my running up to Christmas. I started running in kind of September time, but I wasn't training. I was just going on kind of casual runs. Um, but now that I've stopped and I'm kind of off the wagon, it's just such a mind battle to get back on the right track again. And yeah, so <laughs> I'm just gonna have to push on through. So this week, I really, really want to try and hit those four runs, but that's also going to be a bit of a struggle as I'm actually going to Iceland for three days. So literally every single day this week, I'm going to have to run apart from when I'm in Iceland. So yeah, I really want to try and hit my runs this week um, and just get back into a routine of it. I think the hardest part of this um, training plan for me is going to be getting four runs in every week just because it's such a commitment. Um, but it is something I'm going to have to do and I know that maybe it will take two or three weeks but I'll be back on track and I'll be feeling amazing again. So yeah, it's just a bit daunting going for runs now. I mean, today I'm sure I will or I have at some point put in the video um, or my training plan and kind of what it entails. Um, but today um, on the training plan is technically a rest day because it's a Monday. Um, but I have to run because I'm yeah, going to Iceland. Um, today, I only have to do a 30 minute run. So it's not even that far. It's just the most difficult part is gonna be putting on my shoes. I'm already dressed, but putting on my trainers and heading outside. <sighs> but yeah, I will let you know how it goes. It's a different day. So week two, run two of marathon training is today. Yesterday I didn't really have, well I had a good run but because I still am still quite chesty following a really chesty cough and cold that I had, I just found it really really difficult to breathe so I had to stop a couple of times and just I had a massive, I don't know, coughing fit and I don't know because I had to stop I just was very kind of negative and I was kind of very negative as I was running like going around hating it and I just think that where I hadn't run like three weeks I've like gone backwards and that's such an annoying feeling but today's a new day and I feel so much better um I think also yesterday I went out too quick which is such an error I think this week is going to be kind of me getting back into my pace and my rhythm and knowing what kind of speed I need to go at and really focus on getting my breathing right because I was struggling with that a bit yesterday. And yeah, I just think I was going a bit too quick. Even though I was going at a relatively average pace for me, I just think that where I hadn't run in three weeks and I went for a run and yeah. Yeah, whatever, it's a new day. The plan is I need to do a 40 minute run, wish me luck on this run because even though it's an absolutely beautiful day outside yeah i'm just really really not looking forward to it <laughs> just couldn't think of anything worse right now just walking back from my run now 40 minutes did 6k which it's all right i really 
put a lot of effort into um, going slow, which really worked because my chest felt so much better and my breathing was better and just everything was better. So tips for people starting running, just go slow. Even if it feels like you already are going slow, if you're finding it hard, just keep, keep going slower. Anyway, so yeah, that is good. Pleased that, that that is out of the way. Right. We've got a bit of a mission on our hands. I need to do another run today. I'm going to Iceland tomorrow, which is exciting. Oh, sorry, I, we have a rabbit who's literally on his last legs, bless him. He's in here, he's in the garage. I've got my um, treadmill in the garage, but I don't know if he's alive. Is he alive? Oh, he's alive, bless him going strong for the oldies <sighs> okay don't judge the garage it's not in a good way <laughs> I feel like summer has ended and all of the crap has just been thrown back in the garage but beneath all the crap there's a treadmill <laughs> and here it is and I need to go for a run on this treadmill because it's dark. Well, it's going to be dark in about 10 minutes. And yeah, I need to go for a run. So yeah, let's see if I can get this treadmill down. Um, dusty there's just you know bags of leaves everywhere but who doesn't have a garage like this so yeah I am now going to do a 40 minute run with some interval running in the middle of it on the treadmill great My GoPro died, as did I. I'm like a hot mess. So, interval running is really hard. And I know the point of it is to get your legs used to, or to get your legs better at performing with kind of lactic acid in your muscles um, from periods of going faster. And my goodness me, like the lactic acid build up was something else so i did 40 minutes i did 6k again um because i yeah didn't go as fast as i would go if i was running um outdoors and also i had periods of going quicker and periods of going slower but yeah treadmill running is not the best thing to do when training for a race um but i really need to get some kind of um outdoor running stuff like a head torch or something and then I can do all my running outside but yeah I'm so excited to go to Iceland tomorrow I'm literally gonna have a shower now and go to my friend's house before we go tomorrow um I look like such a sweaty boiled egg um, but I'm really happy that I don't have to run for another three days now yay so it's Sunday today I'm meant to be doing my long run which is an hour, and a, an hour and 20 minutes. However, I got back from Iceland last night at about two in the morning, as there was kind of an incident on my flight, which meant that I took off and then had to go back to Iceland. And then something just needed to happen with the plane and then we took off again. So I'm feeling pretty exhausted. So instead, I'm gonna go to the gym today with my boyfriend. We're walking there, which is like 40 minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna do his upper body weighted workout 
and then we're going to finish by doing some kind of um, cardio based activity and then walk back it's another 40 minutes so still moving my body but I'm just too exhausted to go on a run today so I'm going to do my long run tomorrow Monday and then kind of wiggle a few things around in the week for watching my first two weeks of training even though I didn't film my first week. If you like this video give it a like, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram which is at Izzy underscore MS if you want to see more of my kind of daily life and updates um, as and when they occur during my marathon training. And if you could please, please support me, it would mean the absolute world to me. Thank you so, so much to everyone who has already donated to my Just Giving page. I will leave the link to it down below. I haven't worked out or I don't think there is a way that you can individually reply to the um, comments, but which is very, very um, frustrating. But um, if you do donate to me, uh, make sure you DM me on Instagram and I will respond to you um, with a personal message because um, honestly every single one means the world to me. So yeah, if you want to donate to um, the incredible MS Society that does so much work um, surrounding MS and research into um, finding treatments or cure for this disease um, and just to, you know, get me to the finishing line. Um, yeah, just a donation would mean the absolute world, even if it is only one pound. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.